My name is Michael Vidiello. I am 100% Italian from the East Coast. Great, all right, we got a few East Coasters, maybe some Italians, I like this, yeah. You know what's really popular on the East Coast? I, I grew up like in an uh, Italian neighborhood, a lot of Italian friends, and uh, what's really popular always there, over there is they always get the Italian flag tattooed on different parts of their body. You know, like to prove how Italian they are. I got this one friend, he's got the Italian flag tattooed across his entire back. It's ridiculous, you know? Another friend's got it on his arm. And my friends, they always got it on me growing up. They were always like, yo, Mikey, why don't you get the Italian flag tattooed right on your bicep? Aren't you proud of who you are? I'm very proud of who I am. God is very proud of who I am too because he planted his own Italian flag right here in the middle of my face. It's called the nose, okay? I need any more signs that I'm Italian. Thank you very much, God. I think we appreciate that. I'm I gotta be careful with this nose. I almost took a girl's eye out once. So I gave her an Eskimo kiss. I will do it to you in the parking lot. Do not test me. We will bring back Eskimo kisses. Man, I make, I seriously, I make Pinocchio look like a trustworthy guy. It's crazy. It's, I love my big Italian nose, you know? But uh, all that to say, I got, no, I got no tattoos. I got no tattoos on my body. Because everyone's got tattoos these days, you know? Especially out here in the, on the West Coast. I used to live in Vegas, everyone's got tattoos. I got nothing against it, you know, I don't. I, I, I love girls that have tattoos. I was at the gym the other day, and I saw this girl, and she was running on the treadmill, and she had this hot body tattoo going up the whole side of her torso. You know, it was a dragon, it had wings, fire, smoke coming out of it. I could tell that she probably got the tattoo some point in time, like six or seven dress sizes ago. Maybe like way back in college. Like, can you get older, you get a little extra body weight going on. She had some love handles happening. She was running on the treadmill. It looked like the dragon was trying to fly away. <laughs> it looked like I was trying to fly off of her body. And I asked her and she's like, oh, it's a lizard. It's a dinosaur now, honey. Take it easy with that thing. <laughs> Relax. Just be careful. Because you got to be careful. You got to think about the future when you get tattoos. You know, you got to think about the future. Because my grandpa, growing up, he had tattoos. He was a military guy. He was on the battleships, you know? And that was the thing. They didn't have fancy tattoo parlors on the battleships. They gave themselves tattoos, you know? So when I knew him as my grandpa, you couldn't tell what any of his tattoos were anymore. You, we, used to, we used to call him Grandpa Inkblot Test. Because you had to guess, you know? You had to be like, what's that one, Grandpa? That's a rose with your grandmother's name on it. Oh, that's nice, Grandpa. What about that one, the blue one, going up the side of your arm? That's a vein. That's disgusting, Grandpa. Don't ever tell me that again. 